Okay, so since Windows 8 has a new reimagined user experience, Navigations is a bit different from how it was in Windows uh, previous Windows like Windows 7 and XP. Um, so I'm gonna quickly quickly gloss over them. For example, there's no start menu as it, uh, there was in the Windows 7 Vista XP back since Windows 95 since 1995. Yeah, that's a long, really old feature that has been finally removed and replaced with something totally new called the start screen. Um, you could uh, get to the start screen by moving your mouse um, to the bottom right corner of the screen. It's easy, just move your mouse to the bottom left corner, sorry, not right corner, left corner, and you'll see the start screen. For example, I could be on the mail app, and I could move my uh, mouse in the bottom uh, left corner, and I could see start screen. Um, and you could go back to the desktop, and still, you could move the uh, th uh, thing to the bottom right corner, and you'll be in the start screen. Uh, okay. Uh, Switching between Metro style applications, the full screen applications, uh, are different from desktop applications. In the desktop, you have the taskbar that you have been you, that we always had since 1995. However, Metro style applications don't do not show up on the desktop. How they have a different kind of taskbar. It's on the right or left side of the screen. So to get to the new switcher, move your mouse to the top left of the screen, and then down. And you could see all the Metro style apps that are open, including the desktop itself. For example, let me just open a few more apps, like um, uh, let's see, this podcasting apps. I'll wait till it loads. You know what? I'm not gonna wait for it to load. You could see you could see all the other apps that are running. I would see it loaded, and I could th in the bottom there's a start screen, so I could open up another app. Oh, let's try open up this game, Cut the Rope. It's a fun game. I like it. I don't like it. Com or that much, but I still like it. So you could see that old podcasting app and all other apps, and I can switch back to another app. I could also uh, quickly multitask, like uh, drag it and snap this to this side, or resize the snap, or drag this and move it on this side, or make this app full screen. Uh, this is the only multitasking you can do with the immersive apps. For more advanced multitasking, we'll need to use advanced desktop applications. If you want to close a running app, you could either right-click and click close, or you could use the middle scroll wheel click, middle click, and close it that way. So let's quickly go back to an app, and I'll go back to the start screen. So there's a quick navigation feature of the Metro environment.